Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you some second hand decks that I bought yesterday. Um, they're quite old, but they're just ones that stuck out to me when I was in a shop that had a few, I don't know if they were his that he was selling on because he didn't connect with them or what, but yeah. So, the first one is The Lover's Tarot by Jane Lyle. Now, I've heard of The Lover's Tarot. I'm not sure what relation this has to it. I need to do a little bit of research. But this, the cards are actually this big. They're like humongous. Um, and it's only the 22 major arcana cards. So, if we take a look at them now. I've never seen this before, so I was really intrigued by it. Right, so this is the size of the cards. Bearing in mind that's my hand. I don't know if I've got some. I'll show you. Um, this is the size of a normal card. To try and do some comparison. So. I was like, wow. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's just the major arcana. And this isn't something I'm going to be reading with. It's just, I am a tarot collector, so it's something that I thought would be nice for my collection, um, as I hadn't seen it before. On the side, it says 1992. And these are the backs. But they're like insanely huge. They're like bigger than the giant rider. It's, it's, it's strange. I'm not really sure what purpose they have, whether they are to be used. Um, but it's definitely a deck I'm going to be doing some research into. comes with, seeing as there's only the major arcana, it comes with a book that's the same size as the deck. And it's fairly thick, but it's got a lot of information in it. So I'm really excited to get into this and see what it's all about. Let's see if it says anything at the start. Um, Yeah, so 1992 Connections Edition. And then there's this. So that's the first one. And then the second one is the Merlin Tarot that comes in this. It's kind of like an old video um, cassette kind of, it's weird, it's like a plastic box. But this is it, Let's see if we can get to focus a bit better. Um, now it does actually come with a book inside, but it's not in the greatest of conditions, but it's fine. It was didn't cost a lot at all let's move this other way but the guy who owned the shop said that I could have this as well which I don't know if it's going to be a re repetition of what's already in that handbook I'm not really sure but seeing as I was buying the other one and he, could set, he said I could have it for free it's obviously worth taking um, but yeah this one's obviously a lot thicker so I'm just I'll be interested to look into that um, and then this is the little book that it comes with I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of the same information repeated whether it was a side one that they sold separately or what I'll, again it's something I'll have to look into but then the cards by the way, they're 
Uh, it's by R.J. Stewart and it's illustrated by Miranda Gray. Images, insight and wisdom from the age of Merlin. Now, there is nudity in some of the cards I've noticed. But it's not too bad. And it is, the major arcana is illustrated. And then the minors are just little repetitive images which isn't great I'm not a fan of that but it was I'm, I'm just a sucker for second hand decks I don't know what it is a lot of people won't even um, buy them or whatever they don't like it but I'm just I'm really attracted to decks that have already been used that are worn in it's just I love it anyway these are the backs, and then if I put them here, so we have these, these are, I'm guessing, the court cards are illustrated as well by the look of it. So we've got, is it serpents, beasts? Um, I'll have to have a look through. And then, so these are like the minor arcanas, I think. And they've got a keyword at the bottom. But I just thought it was so interesting. Someone with a broken exhaust. <laughs> but yeah, they're just so beautiful. Yeah, it definitely looks like oh, and the aces as well. So it looks like the aces, the court cards, and the majors are all illustrated. And then these minors are just repetitive images, but it's just beautiful. It says it is a, let's have a look at the date on it. Right, so this is another 1992 deck and it's by the Aquarium Press. HarperCollins Publishers. But yeah, so these were my two kind of purchases in the dark that I didn't really know what I'm getting. It's just something that I was attracted to. Um, they weren't too much money, so it was worth Purchasing them. I'm not going to show you all of these because they're very much the same. But if I kind of show you the ones that are illustrated, maybe. Okay, so we have the tower. Or oh, the universe. So that'll be the world, I'm guessing. Strength, Hanged Man, Magician, we have the Hermit, wow, I like this one, it's one of the aces, Innocent, What's this card then? This is an extra card. Wow, this certainly looks like I've got to put some research into. Oh, wow, look at that judgment. So, yeah, as I say, I'm not a fan of decks that have repetitive pick cards, but. This, oh, we have another extra. Yeah, so that's 
that's it. Yeah, so it's a deck that I'm going to have to do research into. Quite clearly, it's not something I'm used to. I haven't seen this before. But I'm really excited. <laughs> so, there we have it. We had the Merlin Tarot. And we had the ginormous Lovers Tarot. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.